This is part two for Arizawa Yuga's Dragon Collapse. So here we are where we left off from part one. Now we're just going to try and push together these pleats just as you would normally do in the an ancient dragon. Basically how you do that to make the legs. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just double checking everything is correct. I have to probably put in the first one. Just making sure those top parts. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance to get these things in place. So again, before I fully press it together, I'm just going to make sure it's all correct. So I'm sure that one's fine, let's try and get this second one in. I need to actually... just make these more stronger. Right. So let me just peg it right at the top on this first one. And then I'll get the same thing done on here. There's the first one, and the second one, I didn't, do, I didn't do the second one on that side, I'll try on the side first. Bad teasers near me too. Near enough coming together, but you only pay it right here. So I put two on the right side and then one on the left. I'm going to undo this one and then put this other one on. Perfect at the top, so I'm not sure if I need to adjust that at the bottom. That seems fine. Um, crease bottom. Yeah, and then the other one pops up. So that's a big triangle. I think there'll be quite a lot of adjustments once this part's done, just to get it all nice and neat. I probably could collapse this part, let me see. So I need to remake this square. Yep, then that comes over. And that's there, and then that's yeah, that gets trapped inside. Yeah, that's right. So I'm just constantly looking at the crease part, going back and forth to make sure it's fine. Yeah, this part's a bit weird. Let me do that at the last. 
a bite to it. back to that part actually, I'll put that back on. It may actually be easier just to do the front part and then this part. It looks like it's all going to come together right at the end. But we've got most of it in place. Already. So actually let's do that. Let's come back and leave that part of the now. So I'm looking at the seat. Turn the crease part on. Basically, I just made this crease, these two underneath, and then this one, and then just extended them up. And it's just a matter of trying to figure out the best way to cut this long side. These parts are facing this way. I've got to look to it. I can actually flatten this. Now what we're going to put in place is these two little locks right here. As you can see we've got the valley fold and the mountain ends here and the mountain start, uh, starts here. The same here. So we're just going to put these in place first. Basically how we do that is, is by just pushing in on this valley fold. So this one right here. Just gonna push this in. I'm holding it underneath like that to make sure I've got it all correct. Yep. And then just push in this part. Basically have that side done, but it won't lie perfectly flat at the moment until we do the same on this side to basically use it up. So just gonna do the same on this side. Swap hands. And just push in. Like that. So I want look perfectly neat at the moment. Now back to this side. Just gonna try and let me see the crease pond. Yep, so we have Valley Valley, Valley straight up to here. So we should be able to get this part done as well by making this mountain fold which we have right here and then valley fold, valley fold and then valley fold straight up valley fold, valley fold and valley fold 
and then the mountain fold. So we have everything that we need enough in place. So I'm just going to bring these together. So this part, let me just double check. Valley and Mountain. Valley, Valley, that's it. And then this part. Mountain Fold. So I'm actually going to peg it right here. Just to hold these layers in place. One. Again, I'm not going to force anything flat until I'm 100% sure I got it right. I'm just checking this side. Got tweezers by the way. Just need to make sure we have the mountain fold fully being used, like so. And what else is here? Five fold. Basically like that, and um, I'm just going to check this part, I want to make sure this is fine. So from the crease pattern we have the mountain fold, which we have, mountain fold, this will become the valley and mountain. And which one becomes the mountain fold, valley fold, is it this one? Yep. And then the moon fold. So that's fine. Again, I won't push it flat just yet. Um, so now to do the same on this side. Let's turn the crease part. In fact, it's already in the right orientation. Making sure we have the correct items. Yep, that's getting used fine. Let's 
just this one up at the top, which we'll need to be careful about to try and get it as neat as possible. That's the mission. Perhaps as neat as possible, and then it's much easier. So that feels flat, I can feel it flat underneath, so that I'm happy with that. Just flatten it there. Hand side. And then the right hand side. Now let's look at the top part for one minute. And it's just valley fold here and then mountain fold. So valley fold here and then mountain fold. So try and squash it. Just trying to bring it together slowly. right away that would be probably the last minute thing. So let's go back to this side and see what we can do here. Valley fold, mountain fold. Yep. And the other thing opens in place at the moment. It's probably just this part, just trying to get it right. So let's actually turn it. And that's a better angle. Okay. Right. Now what we're going to try and do is re get these bits collapsed. Because we've got everything here that we need, and here, and mostly here, and here, so it should, shouldn't be too hard to push these last few bits in place. It'll be easier to make it collapse this part after it. Just a matter of bringing the paper together in order to fully make these creases work. Left hand side is coming together. And it's just this one.
I'll focus on a second. As long as I can get this pot clean, then we're good. I'm worried about that pot later. Right, can we undo this and then bring these together if possible? So let's peg it like that. Undo this and then try it on the seat. Take it right here because these keep coming undone. I'm going to try and get it as neat as possible for this part. So there's one, and then that one. Yeah, I'm not going to squash it just yet because I know it's not fully perfect but we'll come back to that so we have that so we've got all four or all the pleats for the legs pressed together so these ones right here and these ones now we're just going to try and slot this these valley folds underneath and then maybe try and collapse this part I'm not sure how this part gets collapsed just yet but we'll try that Definitely one of those models where it's all going to come together right at the last minute. So we'll have this. Let me see. This part will probably most likely get pushed outwards. So let's slowly come together. Um, it's going to be quite tricky just to bring this part together. I might go with that now. Yeah, so this is all 
valve fault and all mode fault. So let's undo this. And then try to align up with these ones. It's going to need to be slightly corrected on here because it's not lying fully flat. But again, that's because this part isn't lying flat. So let's actually take this off and try and just line up. So what part is it? This part here. Right, it's a bit, much better now. Much better. Take this part again when you unfold. No, not unfold, just uh, open up this part. And put this crease in the door again. Down and up. Down and up. Yeah. And then it's the bar fold here. So I'm going to leave this part till the very last because I'm pretty sure that this is the last part that comes together because you have the continuous mountain and valley fold alternation all the way down. So we'll leave that. Now what we're going to do is come over to this side and we are going to put in place or start to work this section right here. So basically I've got it pegged just at the start here. I'm going to make these creases and peg it much further up, put in these pleats and then hopefully this part will lie flatter than what it is and then we'll go from there. So let's hold in correct. So we undo this and then just oh, easy, bring it up much further. And then just push in these parts, like that. And I'm basically going to peg it right underneath, right here. So let's do that. So we've got this in place. Now, if we look at the crease pattern, let me see. These all get folded over. So near enough, everything gets pushed over. And then bring this part together. That. So I'm going to peg it again right here. So we have this drop. These creases in place. And then I made... Uh, we brought this edge to this edge. And then made that valley, this mountain fold. Which was just... 
the armor. The part that we put. Oh, I've lost myself. Yeah. So that's the part right there that's put together. So I'll just show you. That's the mountain fold here. So the mountain fold, mountain, and then valley. Mountain, mountain fold, and then the valley. I'm going to go re-peg this. I'll do the same, so I almost forgot. Let me move these up. Actually, take this off again. Yeah, let me fix this part. So that is much better. Now we are going to again peg, bring the peg up to this point. The paper is full falling down, so it's making me use the wrong crease. So there we go, and then just bring this edge together and then peg it right here. So basically we've got the entire outside collapsed. This is just a matter of retweaking these creases and trying to get them to all come together. It's going to be the tricky part. Hopefully I can do it on camera, but I will try my best. Let's just make this the valley fold, which is this crease right here. So I'm basically just going to fold it right in half first, and then see if we can get this part collapsed as flat as possible. So it's definitely feeling correct. And then it's these parts that get flipped around, so that's going to be the hard tricky part. Um, so this will need to be the mountain fold. If we can make this mountain fold first, really strong. Actually, just like that. I'm actually going to peg it again right here. So that's a much better position to be in. Now, let's just figure out because these creases all overlap, we have the mountain, valley, mountain, valley. Let's just try to see where this where this slot in. So I need probably take a few attempts. That slots in here. Yeah, because this comes up. 
that's getting used. This comes up, which will use these, so it must use this one right here. So the double value full. So let me just check that. So we have value fold, mountain, these two line up. Uh, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And I'll get pushed inside here. Use this valley fold. Okay. Wait, I think I need to undo this one actually. Yep. Fold it in. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was wondering why I wasn't going to like that because I had this part pegged. But because we have this part pegged, we can't use this valley fold. Turned that and then pushed in. So that is much easier. So I'm going to re peg this back up. Right, let me show you again. So we have this, these two layers. And then we're just going to use the valley fold underneath which is this mountain fold, so make sure they're right on top of each other and then fold it under or even pinch here like that and then peg it so it doesn't come undone right, maybe I should lower it actually right here Boom, there we go. Now the same on this one, so we need to undo this. So that's maybe interfering, so I need to get rid of that one. So the same again, we have mountain fold. Uh, wait, yeah. No, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold. Valley fold. So again, make sure these two layers are uh, on top of each other and then just fold it in. It'll basically be this type of move where you'll put it in place, you'll be happy with it, and then once everything's near fully, fully flat, you unfold it and then just try and retouch it all up to make it better. So that's what I'll do after this. That because we need that part. Right, give me one second while I'll go off camera and just make sure this is as neat as possible, then we'll continue. Now we have that part done and this part. Basically, everything is near enough in position. What we're going to do now is go back and put some of these pleats in place. So basically just using these creases right here. Put these in place which will make things lie much more flat. So first of all, we're gonna use these ones. And it may look weird, but because they are alternating, you basically only need to use them once. So let me show you. This is, if we're holding the piece button like this, this is this crease right here and because all the layers that we have previously collapsed make this crease line up, hopefully you can see that okay, this crease becomes one full crease and basically just use it to collapse. So grab it here and then just get this out of the way, swivel it down. And this is the mountain fold, which is 
Where am I? Let's crease. So just that. And then I'm just going to get rid of that peg and then do the same on this side. I'm just going to peg it right here. So I don't need to let go. So I can get this other part easier. Done. Get tidied up. And then the same again, we are just going to use the valley folds, oh, layers of push down, they are much better. And like that. Unfold this, now I can peg both of these. Peg it there, and there. There we go. Oops. Yes. Yeah, so like that. And that's basically what we have for the front legs. I'm going to assume that's the front legs. Now, let's see, where are we now? What else can we put in place? And this part's going to be really need to be tidied up. Just trying to make sure everything's being used correctly. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it. And then we go back to the crease pattern and we have a wee look. So we have here this part gets pushed down, mountain fold, which we have. This part gets tucked underneath, which we don't fully have yet because we need to put in these creases right here. I think I'm going to work on that. Trying to get this part more neater so it gets tucked. This part gets tucked underneath this triangle. So this is going to be the tricky part. Creasing, so there's no creases should be there. Um, let me see this side. Anything that we can do on this side to help. Okay, so creases here should be valid folks. I'm not sure if this part should get locked inside. I think it does. Most likely up. Oh yeah, so what I could do is I can make this valley fold and the mountain fold and then hopefully bring this section together. Yeah, I can't put in these plates just yet, so I'm just gonna ignore the outside and try and basically make this V. So what we're trying to do is just Yep, so I'll just try to bring this part together here. So we have this basically the V. I'll try to bring this mountain fold right down and utilize these valley folds. And if I can get that neatly, I can squish it to make sure it's perfectly in place, and then that should help with this part. Yeah, so this part seems to be fine. This, part's, this part here is going to need to get pushed a little bit more up to fully utilise these mountain folds, which are not getting used at the moment correctly because um, 
the pegs are in the way, but that's fine for now. So that, there we go. That's that done. Uh, should I peg it? Yeah, I'm going to peg it right here. The more pegs we have in places that are correct, then the more stable the model will get. And then the more even the paper will spread, so it makes it easier to collapse. Certain parts like that. Right, let's bring this camera down. We've got a house higher up. I don't want to get too close in case it keeps going to focus on my hand. Right, so we have that. I've got to leave it. So we're almost here. I think I can get rid of these ones. Don't really need those anymore. That will allow me to open up this part and then put that in place. As you can see, it's already starting to push itself outwards. So it's just a matter of opening up and then spotting in the correct creases to use them. Oh, it doesn't open up too far. So we have this point right here, this point right here, there's this point, we have all the cre creases coming out from it. I think I'm going to put in this one, push this back into place, because right now it's it's basically getting, we're, we've made a value fold here, we've basically mirrored this crease on this side, so I'm going to push this back for now, yeah we have. Push that back. And then that should make it easier to see. Right. So we are we here. Mountain fold. Um that's the triangle one. Valley. So these should line up. Yeah, because I've got all these uh, pegs in place, the paper's starting to get resistance, which is really good. Uh, I think. I'm going to look at it from this position. So I'm looking at this mountain fold here, which is this one. So we have the mountain fold, we have the valley, and we have the mountain fold. I don't think that's been fully used. No, it doesn't help one bit. Yeah, I think it's, been, it's getting fully used. So I think this gets tucked underneath. I'm going to just undo these for now, this side. I think it's folded over actually. I'll stick in the wrong direction. So I've got that in place. Right, turn it this way. Mountain fold. No, shoot. Oh, yeah, we need to use these ones. We need to use these pleats. So probably in order to get this part flat, we'll need to use these pleats. So we're going to try that. Oh, how does that work? Did I get to do that? Oh, they're all lining up, so let me see. We have... Valley Mountain, Valley Mountain. So four and into this one. 
So from the tail, now what we're going to do is put, uh, where are the pleats? I'm going to put in these two pleats. This one, and then this one here. So basically we have this. They're done in two sections because they're not completely mirrored. So when you fold it all over, they don't line up. So the first one is just this one here. The mountain fold and the valley fold to the corner. And then the valley fold here. And then the mountain fold. So I'll basically swivel inside. Like that. And then, because all these line up, we can just, again, use the, the mountain and valley fold, and then opposites on this side, which are the mountain fold, then the valley fold, and then the valley, and then the mountain. So again, hold them here. Making sure we have got it nice and flat. Just try your best to get it as neat as possible. Like that. And then I'll just try and put this one in place at the same time. So basically like that. And that's the underside. So it all lines up, so all the pieces get used. So I'm going to peg it. Um, could peg it. Right. And so we've done that part. If we move to. So I've just put in these ones and this one. If you move down here, in order to get this part flat, we have to then use these sets right here. So, this is looking at the crease pattern from the angle I've just shown. And we have the valley fold here, which, with the layers lined up, become valley, mountain, valley, mountain, and then the ones at the side. So let's try and oh, let me get these in place first. Again, try and peg it. So I should hold it a bit better. And then we're just going to use these creases at the side and basically just while having this in place, just holding this, just pull it until we use the crease. Can never see it. Where the hell is it? There's there. I'll make it first. Once you've got that crease, then it's just folding over. Ah. Like that. That is basically that part. So we used this valley fold, which alternates basically all the way to the edge of the paper. And then just folded that part over. 
I'm actually going to peg it right here. I want to make sure these, yeah, they're in place fine. And now, do the exact same on the other side. Now that we've done it on both sides, what we can try to do now is rework these creases. So if, if we flip that back over, as of right now, the mountain fold that we're supposed to use isn't being fully corrected, uh, correctly used. So we're going to try and fix this, get that pegged, get this pegged, and hopefully that will make the final part easier to collapse. So basically we're just going to grab all of these layers and then try and push up until I feel that it's much better. We want to try and bring the mountain fold as close to the bottom as possible. It's one of those folds where you may or may not get it absolutely perfect. But yeah, hold it like that. Peg it right here. Try not to let it go. So it's definitely much better than what we have, than what we had. And then it's the same on this side. You may need to bring it closer to fully utilise it. That's fine. Hold it like that. There, so that's definitely much better. Uh, it's one of those folds where you may or probably won't get it as neat as possible. But fold this back over. Now, basically, the last part that we need to do to flatten this, I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping it collapses flat. I'm pretty sure it does. Is this part right here? So I'm going to open it up, put in this mountain fold, and then this one have a quick check around to make sure that everything is in place and then uh, fold it back over and then close it, try and close it and hopefully if everything is correct and, and in place and it should lie flat or should collapse. So I'm going to try and lift up right here is eating and can continue. So if I pull this up and um, let me just see. So we have Mountain fold all the way up to here. Um, yeah, it's a five fold, so it's going to look Yeah, and then the mountain folds at the end of these parts, the little V, they get pushed in. I'm just going to try and make this first before I push it back in. But then I'll push it in and then do it. Trying to push it out. That's it. So I've pushed it out. I've tucked this part back inside. This part. 
some waffles and five folds. Five fold and five fold. Pretty sure that's maybe I'm out of fold that shot. So I should peg this at the top. Technically you could just squash it, but I just want to make sure that everything's correct. Let's see where these come from. Farm fold. And then there's this one. So we have just double chicken, mountain fold, barley, mountain. Now, um, I couldn't get this part for some of the reason, the part right here, off camera. So I'm just going to do it slightly different, which will basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is, to make it easier, is make the full mountain fold go down from the top to the bottom. So we instead make the mountain fold from here to here, all the way up. And then we're just going to valve fold it to either side. And then where it bends, just make basically these creases. So maybe that is correct, just the creases are wrong. Again, I have no idea. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try and show this. Basically, we have that. Then you just got to bring it down. And then whatever it naturally bends. It could come up more maybe. Yeah. It'll come up more. So it's gonna fold up like that. And then if we've got everything correct, let's take all these off. Oh in fact, I'll keep these ones on. Take these ones off. Try and flatten it. So we had to do a slight different fold. Well, I wouldn't call it a mesh fold. Um, but that's the right one again. Yep. I'm going to flatten that part so that the paper remembers where it's supposed to be. Oh, wait, was it that way? Not this way. Then I'll fix this weak part off camera so it's not fully really lining up. Yeah, we can take these off now. Press all this. Take these off. Compress that. And then before I compress this, just going to make sure that I put everything in place. Try and fix a few things. I'm going to take that right there for a second just to hold that part. And that should be it. 
unpair this. And then flatten it. And there we go. We have the fully collapsed base of Arizona Yuga's Dragon. And if you are following this, hopefully you manage to do it. Uh, it is quite a tricky collapse, especially the part in the centre, because it all has to come basically at the same time. And yeah, that was a lot of fun folding. The next part will be just adjusting the head, adding some of the head details, and then uh, changing the wings. And then that is basically that all done. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Thank you.